Well, Francisco Dominguez is the head of the Latin American Studies Research Group at Middlesex University in the UK. He joins us now live from London. Francisco, thanks for joining us. As for this minimum wage increase, can what hasn't worked in other countries actually work for the Venezuelan economy? Well, the main problem is that the reason why the economy is in crisis is because of lack of revenue. And there is the, this is the result of the decline in the price of oil. In 2008, the price of oil, the barrel of oil, was $148. Um, two weeks ago, it was $24. So you can imagine the country has lost 80, 85 percent plus. I think the government is justifying claiming that there is an economic war of deliberate hoarding and causing shortages in order to produce the queues, although not everything can be done to that. Okay, so how is Venezuela supposed to get out of this if it's been dependent on oil, which has crashed, as you've said, it's overspent, uh, and it failed to create a sovereign wealth fund as, as some sort of backup. So will Venezuelans be left with what their Ecuadorian counterparts perhaps faced back in 2000? I think the main problem is whenever they just adjust the exchange rate, which is a crucial problem, and every adjustment of the exchange rate, meaning devaluing the Bolivar, the national currency, they have to introduce some mechanism of compensation in order to ensure that their popular base, which is mainly the poor, actually do not suffer that much. And these inevitably will fuel some inflationary pressures. But as the exchange rate is being fixed, then this can be maintained for a while. Um, the problem is that the country needs some extra source of revenue. They have embarked on a huge production uh, drive um, to try to extract some other minerals such as gold, diamonds and coltan, which will produce some results, but it will take some time. But ultimately, Venezuela will not have to dollarize its economy, correct? I think it's extremely unlikely because the moment you dollarize your economy, such as in Ecuador, you lose control of a, you know, a great deal of fiscal policy. And in an economy such as Venezuela, given the difficulties that they have, it would be extremely un unwise from their point of view to actually dollarize the economy. I think they will sustain the situation for as long as possible. And the price of oil actually has gone up from 24 to 34 given that Venezuela export between two and a half to three and a half million barrels of oil a day, uh, that those 10 dollars are quite significant. So they're able to sustain the situation temporarily. And for as long as this goes on, they might be able not to have to dollarize the economy, which I think is extremely unlikely. OK, so politically, the opposition, as you know, is organizing a referendum to remove Maduro from office. Do you think the opposition will succeed? Well, it's impossible to tell, to predict in advance, but the situation is like this. Maduro won the 2013 presidential election with 7.5 million votes, and the opposition at the time got 7.4 million votes. In the last election in December, for the National Assembly, which the opposition won, the opposition got 7.7, .7, so it increased its vote only by 4%. And given that the kind of political campaign that they carried out during the National Assembly election, and where the uh, recall of Maduro or the outing of the government was not in the manifesto, it looks unlikely that they are going to be able to turn up, to turn those 7.7 .7 million votes into 7.5 million, which is what they need in order to be able to recall Maduro. Okay, Francisco Dominguez, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us with that.